welcome back to the channel. I'm whispering because it's currently quarter past five on a Sunday morning and everyone's still asleep. Um, I've got quite a busy day today, so my training days have now changed. Um, because my weeks are getting busier, I'm now training on a Saturday and Sunday um, and my training splits change. It's now push, push, pull, delts and arms, rest, lower, upper. Um, so no longer training six days. I was training push, pull, legs, upper, lower, arms. Um, so basically moved and the majority of our delt work from our push session into a day with our arms. So we're training five days just to give us two, an extra rest day. Um, so then training days would be Friday, start it on a Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, rest Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rest Thursday. So yeah. Um, and then today I've got the cable machine going from the studio. Um, it's used a very tired look. Um, yeah, getting the, the cable machine being collected from the studio. So we'll get up, train, um, about to have meal one. Obviously we're now on a diet break for a week, so I'm very, very happy. So we have been having 300 grams of carbs for the last couple of days and it's been wonderful. After the first day I actually dropped to my lowest weigh-in um, and then my weight spiked back up, which I fully expected. Um, but it's it's a good thing that like we're looking to manage fatigue a little bit, just wash off any stress, any fatigue, and then we can go again. So we've got 80 grams of cream of rice, um, 200 grams of mixed fruit, and then uh, 20 grams of 8% dark chocolate, um, and 55 grams of whey. Um, so I have this, I, it's also check-in day, um, so for the majority of my clients, so I've got to have this, I'll check emails regarding check-ins, have a little look through them, um, go train, to help or take apart the cable machine ready for collection um, and then do my check-ins and then I've got family over for dinner which I'm cooking so a very very busy day so I'm going to take you through the session today um, it's a new session for me as well so I'll walk you through it um, show you what I'm doing because there's a couple of new exercises in there that I haven't I have done but I haven't done them in a while so it'd be good to show you them um, and then I might show you bits of the day if I can remember but I'm not going to not going to lie um, I probably won't, but yeah, we'll show you the session um, and then any bits I can show you throughout the day, then I will. Um, but yeah, very, really busy one and then rest day tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you at the gym. So before we go to the gym, okay, we have got the GOAT of pre-workouts back, okay? If you know about this, this is honestly the best pre-workout, like all round pre-market, pre-market, pre-market? the best pre-workout all round on the market, like phenomenal. So it's for two scoops, it's 350 milligrams of caffeine. So for me, that's a tad too much. Um, it's, yeah, so I normally have like one scoop and then I'll throw in, I'm trying like this again, superhuman pump. And I'll throw that in, obviously, stups, supplements, Okay, code HGC, uh, you get a bit of money off. Um, I'm very glad to be working for, with a great company. Um, yeah, very, very, very honoured to have the opportunity to work with, with them on their affiliate scheme. Um, so yeah, so we've obviously got this jungle juice flavour and then peach, and I've also got, um, again, one of my favourite, if I can open it, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, one of my favourite pre-workouts, uh, Dr. Dean's pre-pump and pre-focus supplement needs. So, um, yeah, I've got a bit of a selection now. But yeah, I'm going to give this a go today. I haven't had this in a while. Um, getting very close to camera. Um, so yeah, like I said, one scoop of this. Um, otherwise, I'll be, yeah, it's too much. Too much caffeine. And I've already had coffee today, so with this morning with breakfast. So um, I don't want to be having too much if I, was, if I didn't have a, uh, a coffee, I probably would have two, or maybe like three quarters of a scoop. But um, yeah, wait, that is about go about that. It's just about up to here, um, and then I'll probably have one and a half scoops of the uh, superhuman pup. I originally tried this last year. I was a big fan of it. It tastes really nice as well. Um, I don't know how it's going to go with the jungle juice, but we will find out. But yeah, very good supplements. I think 
Dr. Dean's pre-pump is the is the best pump product on the market. This is like your best all rounder. Um, your best like stim pre-workout. Um, so no, yeah, but this smells amazing as well. This stuff tastes really good as well. So yeah, that's obviously a bonus. But yeah, I'm gonna have this. Um, I'll have this now, give it 10 minutes and then drive to the gym. Um, Cause I don't wanna be having it. Caffeine normally takes about half hour to get into your system. So you don't wanna be having it straight before the gym and then you're halfway through your session and then the caffeine's kicking in. So you wanna be having it about 10, 15 minutes before driving to the gym. So it's kicking in within in the drive and then once you get there you're ready to go. Okay? So like I said, I will catch you at the gym. Starting off with a dumbbell just to put the electrolytes. You notice here how my gut's the side is more like can't really smell like natural how my shoulder kind of wants to move. It's slightly a little bit more forward than out to the side. It's a really nice movement, obviously limits any lower body movement. Um, so it's just focused fully on our delts. We can't we can't move cheaply here, we've got nowhere to kind of really go. So see how this goes for warm up and then we kind of go from there. So instead of coming out to the side here, we want to, we want to come slightly more forward and here. So this is definitely a movement you can look at ego at the door with. Um, you're not going to be fucking lateral raising 15, 16 kilos of these. Um, obviously because of the, the way we the way we are set up, we've obviously got no no, no body um uh, Jesus Christ, we're not to talk about that morning. We've got that no lower body assistance, but we're chest supported. So obviously the aim here is just to really focus on the belts um, and make sure that we're just kind of getting a, getting blood into getting blood into belts before we've got crucifix actually up next. So no pressing the belts. Um, I've got no pressing the belts in my problem at all. Um, I I find that to be very like. As long as you've got a variation of back of roses, that's what you kind of really need. Because obviously our main movement, our main movement pattern for our shoulders is abduction. Um, so even with pressing, there's some sort of abduction or abduction going on. So um, yeah, there's no, in my opinion, um, I don't really see the need for shoulder pressing. Um, I mean, it's, got, it's, it's got its time and place, but yeah, um, overall, it's never something that I've really enjoyed and my delts have grown quite a bit over the last year. Just what kind of really just doing like lateral raises, cuff raises, stuff like that. So yeah, and these these are a game changer. So so again, not up to the side, slightly in front, kind of that natural path that I, the shoulder wants to take. Final warm up. Okay. See how these go. We've got two sets, two weapon sets. Um, top set of 8 to 12, or main set, and then back off of 12 to 15. So everything's quite high reps at the moment. Um, there's no, I think the lowest reps is 6 to 10. Um, so, yeah, as we're dieting, it's just about maintaining as much muscle mass. Obviously, we've got this week of a diet break, but we're still, we're still really about optimizing recovery, making sure we're doing everything we can um, to recover. This is just about like washing off as much fatigue and stress as possible this week. Um, so yeah, it definitely does feel nice. I feel, I feel a little bit stronger already um, just from those extra carbs. Like this morning I've had 80 grams of carbs and I, that was pretty much like close to what I was having in a day before this diet break. I was having like 100, 120. So it's really nice to have that amount of carbs into training. Um, it's been massively a huge I think probably later on in the week um, is when really going to notice it, probably like when it comes to my lower session, um, which is going to be really, really nice. I'm looking forward to that. So, right, top set. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So crucifix that tool is next. And this isn't really a movement I've done before, so I'm most probably doing this wrong. Um, so we'll give it a go. Just been playing around, just trying to get the angles right, um, and just trying to make sure that we're in the right position. Uh, so cuffs at the wrist using the dangly chains just to make sure the cables don't really like bang into each other. I mean, it's kind of working kind of but we will see how this goes. Again, it's a really nice movement because it's really, really focused on your delts um, and obviously your delts are actually pretty lengthened, not when they're like straight, kind of more across the body. So it takes us for that fully lengthened range all the way through full range of motion of the delt. So again, obviously we've had dumbbell lateral raises, but kind of only here. Where you come down to the side of my body, where I've been dealt with fully lengthened, where if we come with this, you'll see my starting position. And my starting position is kind of across the body slightly. Okay, my lengths of my delts are fully lengthened. Okay? So if we're coming up, you kind of create like a W shape. Doing dumbbell lecture raises, they're fucking tough. Ooh, excuse me, that was horrible. So, three sets of these, and then we've got to finish off delts. We've got some rear delt fires and then two sets of arms. I'm gonna give you a little physique update as well today. So, right, these are a fucking killer. Notice how my arms start way across my body. Okay, we're not starting here. Where people think the delt is like it's fully lengthened, we're starting across the body a little bit. So taking it through its full range. Two sets of this. Um, I prefer this to a reverse pec deck. I feel I can get a better connection on this. So I had a reverse pec deck yesterday. Um, this is obviously, this is, I feel it's a lot more my rear delts, where the reverse pec deck is a lot more upper back for me, personally. So look, the aim is here again, is to line it up with the pulls with my rear delt, okay? And the cable machine, we don't want it too high, we don't want it too low. Okay, I kind of like it, so it's like sat down in the middle. So if I put my arm out, and I'll line it up there. <coughs> again, this, this is a movement that, again, you should never be rushing movements, but this is a movement we really want to slow down. You really feel it in our rear delts. Okay, and then I kind of like to lead with my elbow. Again, that's how I feel. Again, it's, it's personal preference or how you feel it, but I like to imagine leading with my elbow. 
okay? And pull in, and that stuff like that here. Really nice control on the way back. Just before my hands touch, there we go again. Relax the traps. So back from the gym, very, very good session. Um, for some reason, my camera decided to overheat and then stop working. So um, I didn't get the last couple of movements. We had tricep pushdowns and a D-handle um, cable curl. So yeah, that's the session. Um, so obviously it's a new new session for me. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, volume's all at baseline at the moment um, because of obviously, why aren't you? Um, because we are dieting obviously even though the diet break we're still going to keep volume how it is so why are you doing this why are you going all bright that's way too bright there we go that's better um so yeah just done a couple of check-ins already um and like i said this morning cable machines getting collected so got to go and sort that out now um which is gonna be fun hopefully it didn't take too long to sort out um i got to take the weights off and try and dismantle it as much as possible which is going to be a joy but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this video here, video here because I don't know how long it's going to take and then you've got family come over for, family come over for a barbecue. Um, so yeah, that is the plan of action. Uh, next video, will this will hopefully be up Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then the plan is to get a, a video up Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or either up to either side of the week. Okay, so hopefully this will be up either Monday, Tuesday, and then another one later on in the week. So yeah, keep into that, keep into that two week schedule. And I will be keeping to that while we're away. So you can kind of see what we're up to while we're away um, and see where we are and everything like that. So, yeah, that is the plan of action. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like, enjoyed the video. And I will catch you in the next one.